This is the only second time that uh, a show like this has been mounted off my gowns. I'm not sure that it has been done with any other form of Miss America. I was in uh, Monte Carlo about three years ago, and they happened to have an exhibition in Monte Carlo, Princess Grace's gowns, and um, I attended, and I was quite impressed. There were probably five or six times more than I have here, but I must be very truthful, none were any more beautiful than, uh, than my dresses were. I had many more than this, some of which I cut off when the style became ballerina style, and I was a young married housewife and didn't want to go out and spend the money. I just cut the dress off to, um, to knee length, and I even dyed one. Um, so it's amazing they've survived. I let my grandchildren play in two or three of them that are here. So when, uh, when we first started on the exhibit in Georgia, several of them had to go through a little reconditioning. My daughter, about three years ago, had the idea of, Mother, why don't you have those on exhibit at the museum? So that was the beginning. This was designed by Seal Chapman, and it was the first dress I had as Miss America that was designed for me. It weighs close to 60 pounds because it has all of this gold thread on it, which in, I'm trying to think, 57 years or so, has never tarnished. It has seed pearls and rhinestones and then a um, couple of shades, pink and this champagne. But this dress is perhaps not the most glamorous dress, but it has a little bit of a history I'd like to tell you about. It was one of the ones that I cut off, as I said, after being married and uh, the wife of a young lieutenant in the Air Force. I had some occasions to, and the styles changed. So I got my scissors and cut. It was full length, and I cut from the rushing or the ruching off also, it has a coat, which is uh, a little bit unusual. As Miss America, I was given so many beautiful gifts, but also at each appearance, of course, I had a number of flowers and bouquets of flowers, which I didn't, I love flowers, so I didn't know what to do, but I'd take the ribbon off, wrap it up, put it in my suitcase, and send it home to my mother, not having any idea what I'd ever do with them. But about three years after I was Miss America at Christmas, my mother presented me two quilts that she had made out of all the ribbons. And this is one of the quilts. The dresses are unique for several reasons. They were not store-bought. They were designed to my measurements, to the coloring. I think I had 13 pink formals and I used them frequently. They did not just hang in the closet. They went to the Rose Bowl Parade, to the Eisenhower Inaugural Parade, and just wonderful events that I was uh, privileged to be in attendance at during that year. Today, the Miss America is required to have what they call a platform, so that, that's her main emphasis for my year and the years around 1953. There was no official platform, but I was in veterans hospitals. I did some uh, work for the March of Dimes, many parades, many festivals, all types of festivals from rose festivals to sweet potato festivals to dairy festivals and, um, and then various governmental celebrations. It was a variation of Americana, frankly. It was a wonderful introduction for me. I had traveled some, but not extensively. This is the final dress that was designed for me to crown the new Miss America in. And if you look closely on the bodice and the skirt, there are little seashells that are made of lace with sequins and pearls uh, embroidered on them. Hand embroidered, of course. <laughs>